Well, arriving at DFW International Airport, sometimes when I'm dropping off food for friends at DFW Airport, it could be a little bit of a liability, but the footage certainly is an asset. Guy right there's from New York behind me. Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I'm doing construction. Entire Grand Hyatt.
get your motor running, head out on the highway, looking for adventure, whatever comes my way. Way in, way out after you. That's what I mean. recent modern day punk i guess maybe it's more like pop because every song goes one a minute bad it bad it bad it bad bad one a minute bad it bad it bad bad the lyrics are pretty much serious you know about the same you know i lost my shoe and i was thinking of you i lost my shoe and i was thinking of you I mean, that's not punk you know punk is uh uh let me think a good punk song. Um, probably say punk would be like, you know, you know, I mean, you know, anything the Ramones did, you know. I don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery or, you know, uh, 20, 20, 24 hours ago, I'm going to be sedated or whatever, you know, whatever those punk songs were. 2020, 24 hours ago, I'm gonna be sedated. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. So I was studying up James Belushi. It looked like he was quite the extremist. Um,
He certainly didn't start off on Saturday Night Live. He was doing stuff way, way before Saturday Night Live, but he was one of the founders of Saturday Night Live. They started off with doing a Lampoon radio show. And he was real big in his drama department in high school and in college. And he just kind of flipped out, became like a really, really bad cokehead. Then he got, towards the end, he got involved in heroin when he... It got real bad when he was doing a film called The Neighbors or Neighbors or something that he was real heavily a part of and it became like a, a, a real big disaster. But at one time, he, he was very successful. He had the number one show, which was the Blues Brothers. He also had a rock band, which was the number one album, which was a Blues Brother uh, rock album or blues, blues al album. And he was one of the lead guys on Starting Out Live, coming out of Starting Out Live. And then he died at 33 of heroin. One thing about Belushi was he was a little contradictory. He didn't really consider himself an actor. He was a sketch artist or improv artist. And then later on, after he did Continental Divide, he started considering himself, you know, an actor. But Danny uh, DeVito, or not Danny DeVito, I'm sorry, wrong guy, Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd uh, considered him the best and said no one will ever be anything like him. I think the only one that's ever been anything like him was probably Chris Farley. The story that I love about Belushi um, that's really funny is Dan Aykroyd and Belushi were on set at a mall for the Blues Brothers movie. And Belushi just had... Uh, Kind of like a little breakdown or something. Just left the set. Just disappeared. Dan Aykroyd had no idea where he'd possibly be. He was missing. Happened a lot on Saturday Night Live too, but this was during the movie, The Blues Brothers. So Dan Aykroyd kind of walked out of the mall because they were shooting a scene in a mall. Looked out in the neighborhood. Said, my goodness. Walked out into the neighborhood and started knocking on doors. And lo and behold... Mr. Belushi had walked in some person's house and raided the refrigerator and crashed out on their couch or whatever. Dan Aykroyd says, you know, we're missing a guy named Belushi. And uh, the neighbor said, oh yeah, he came in, he raided my refrigerator, he's passed out on the couch. <laughs> Was like a complete stranger, he didn't even know him. They walked in and got him, put him back on set. 